Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. The left back area is a position that Celtic that we're known has been needed a cover for, at least someone that can displace, maybe not even cover for, because let's face it, the cover that we do have would be Liam Scales and Kobayashi. Is that the left backs that you want to have going into next season? So this position that Celtic have known that we need to cover for for a long time. Celtic do have Alexandro Bernabe. He was put out on loan um, last year and um, he was loaned out to the club until the end of this year, but it looks like he's going to be on the move again. The left back joined international on loan in February, but has made just one appearance since the club. Now, Argentine side Independiente uh, have begun talks with Celtic to take him on loan. Now, Alexandro Bernabe, um, his value has decreased since he moved to Celtic. Unbelievably, yeah, he was valued at around about 3 million euros. His current market value is around about 2 million euros. The Sporting Club International looks as if they don't fancy Bernabe either. It's a player that I had great hopes for when he came in from Argentina. The player that has dual nationality from Argentina and Italy looks like he was going to be a perfect fit for Celtic and for European football, but it's not been the case. His contract does expire with Celtic on the 31st of May 2020. 27. Unbelievable. 2027, his contract does expire with Celtic. Um, his loan contract was to expire on the 31st of December 2024, but it looks like he will go out on loan again this summer. Hopefully, it will still have that option to buy because when he was put out on loan in the, at the winter transfer window there, it does have an option to buy at the end of it. Now, we do currently have Greg Taylor in the position. Now, the market value, according to transfermarket.com, of Greg Taylor, and I sit down because um, you won't believe this one, it's 7.5 million euros, which is around about six and a half million pounds. That's what the current market value allegedly is of Greg Taylor. And a Greg Taylor that was brought from Kilmarnock for one million um, back in the day. It was one million euros, so it was under a million pounds. Um, just is unbelievable. Greg Taylor, the man who tormented Rangers and, well, let's face it, their multi-million Colombian striker that was going to be sold for 30 million. Greg Taylor tormented him on, 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 on quite a few games when we played against him. He started his career at Rangers. He was with Rangers for six years. Uh, the club released him, saying that he was too small and too slight. He then went to Kilmarnock and then Celtic signed him from Kilmarnock. We all know what's happened to Greg Taylor since then. He's a player that has upped his game. Even when Ange Postacoglu came into the club, a lot of people were shouting out for a left back then. Greg Taylor grabbed the bull by the horn, as he said, and he made that position his own. Even when Alexandro Bernabe came in uh, for good money, everyone thought that he would be the man to knock him out the team, but he hasn't. Greg Taylor was born on the 5th of November, 1997. 1997, oh, I remember that year. It was a fan. It was a Good year for music. It was it was the end of the rave scene. Hardcore techno was kind of dying out a bit. There wasn't as many rave clubs going about. But yeah, it was a good, good year. It was a good year. But anyway, it was a long time ago. Celtic have been linked with a numerous, numerous left backs over the last couple of years. But none of them have came to fruition. I think the latest one that Celtic really, really fancied and had a look at was obviously a player that was on loan to Dundee last season, the beginning of the first half of last season, he was loaned out to Dundee. And that was Owen Beck. Celtic did try to sign the Dundee loanee uh, from Liverpool, uh, but Liverpool wouldn't play ball, remember. Liverpool then went on to play the player in one game to make sure that he couldn't go to another team during that season. Beck proved that he can cut it in the SPFL, and um, he did get a, a couple of games for Liverpool when he went back. He had his admirers, will Celtic go back from this transfer window? It doesn't look like it, but Celtic have been linked with other players over the past couple of months. Gaston Bernadette, Harrison Burrows, just to name a few, and there's many, many more. I think, I think all in, there's another Dundee player that we have been linked with. They had an okay game against Celtic towards the end of last season, and that's Owen Dodgson. Yes, I probably pronounced that wrong as always. But anyway, he's he was currently on loan at Dens Park also uh, from Burnley. And Celtic 
we're looking at him, allegedly. Or was it just the fans that are saying, do you know what, he's a nice little player also. He was impressive against Celtic last season. Uh, he's only 21-year-old. He is in that age range. But realistically, will Celtic go out and spend good money on a left back this summer? Now, when Greg Taylor was out towards one at one point in the last season, Celtic did put Kobe Ashe in that position. Could that save Celtic some money and play Kobe Ashe in that position? I don't think so. And then there's the whole Liam Skills question. Liam Skills can play in left back, but he's been preferred in centre of defence. Could Celtic go to a back three and push Liam Skills out to the left back? That would be an interesting one. It would give us a bit of solidity at the back. And let's face it, in current games in the last season, teams have targeted the left-back area because Greg Taylor tends to bomb forward a bit or if he comes into the middle of the field in that inverted role into where sort of Callum McGregor is standing. Um, Liam Scales has been pulled out to the left-hand side of the pitch quite a lot of times last season, which has cost us in a few games. Yes, it did cost us in a few games because the teams were, they knew that that was an area to target. If Celtic decide to go to a, a back three, it would mean playing two up front. With Adam Ida about to come in the door, um, that would be a fantastic to see Adam Ida and Kyogo playing on the pitch together in a 3-5-2. It would be a really exciting to watch for us also, I think. And I think a change of formation would be good for Celtic because we've kind of been with that... 4-3-3 now for a couple of seasons and I think sometimes it's good to mix it up as a manager. I mean I know Brendan Rodgers does like that kind of style but I don't think he's adverse to changing the the system and I think sometimes you need a change of system and that's maybe something we could talk about in another video. But the left back positions, Bernabe is that far out the window, he will not be returning to Celtic. Will Celtic promote one of the younger players within the squad? Can Celtic afford to bring in? I mean, yes, we should bring in the younger players from the squad. But when we're going into the Champions League, let's face it again, if it's going to be Greg Taylor, I think a lot of Celtic fans out there may be worrying. But then again, Greg Taylor has said many, many times about being um, spoken about by fans and the media. And he doesn't let it affect him. He just gets on with it. Can Greg Taylor, the man who was called up for Scotland, remember, but didn't play a single game in the Euro 2024s for Scotland? Yes, he went away for a, a, a good old jolly for three or four, it was about a month that he was away altogether with the Scotland squad. But he didn't get any game time whatsoever. Hopefully he'll come back refreshed and crack on next season because as it stands just now it is only greg taylor that we have with any kind of experience and how do you feel about that going into the new season tell me your thoughts in the comments section Let roll up to the party roll up roll up to the party roll up to the